Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my September bullet journal setup. And just in case you didn't know, I switched over to a notebook therapy notebook. And so far I am loving it. It's beautiful. The outside cover is so glorious. I just love it so much. So anyways, what we are starting with is a little bit different from what you guys have seen lately. I decided to sort of forego all of the paper this month because I I have recently, as you guys know, become completely obsessed with Paper Minty Studio and I placed an order from them twice, actually. <laughs> and I really wanted to use some of the stickers that I got. So I basically just based the entire theme of this setup off of the stickers that I got and I didn't even need the paper. So I love the way that this turned out. I also really wanted to do some different sort of framing ideas that I've been having for a long time, but I just haven't been able to sort of use utilize them. So what I'm doing is I am framing out the word September and I am writing it in a sort of brush lettering font. Still have not perfected my brush lettering so please don't judge. <laughs> but I actually really like the way that it turned out. I think it turned out really pretty. I framed it out and I am adding a sort of grid pattern to the back of the page. You guys know I love a good grid. I don't know why. I just do. And then I'm going to add some sparkles to the inside of the frame just to sort sort of, you know, liven it up a little bit. It was looking a little bit blah, but I didn't want to add too much to the inside of it because I really loved the way that September turned out. So here are the butterflies that I ordered from Paper Minty Studio. They are stunning absolutely stunning and I actually ordered three sheets of this because I knew that I was going to use it and I actually only used two of the sheets for this whole setup so I still have one sheet left yay <laughs> But I just really wanted to just kind of cover this whole cover page with these beautiful butterflies. I just, they're so, I don't know, they're so gorgeous. And they're a little bit muted tones, so they're perfect for the beginning of fall, even though I'm not quite ready for fall yet. I'm sort of transitioning a little bit into fall because, you know, back to school and everything. School started this past week for my youngest daughter and it's kind of been chaotic, honestly. <laughs> so this was actually a really easy and fun setup and I could not recommend Paper Minty Studio more. I am obsessed. I love these stickers so much. So this next spread here is my calendar spread. And like I said, school just started back up. So we have a lot of things on the calendar and I wanted a big gigantic calendar for all the things. So I am really just making this page all about the calendar. I did not do waterfall tabs this month. Shocker, I know, <laughs> but I am going to do regular tabs. I, I can't not cut up my pages like I don't. <laughs> this would not be one of my videos if I didn't cut the pages somehow. <laughs> So right now I am just sort of filling in the calendar and on the right hand side I just have a bunch of little lines that I just want to have a little space for some notes maybe for next month. And as you can see I missed a day. Thankfully I, <laughs> I thought that I miscounted and I wrote the numbers in wrong but thankfully I just missed a, putting a whole day in so it was a very easy fix. So here I am just cutting up my tabs and it's very simple. Even though I did not even realize it until I was editing this video, I actually cut one of the tabs wrong. I cut it too far in. You can see it when it's all completely done. I accidentally missed a dot. So one of the tabs is a little bit smaller than the rest, but it's really not that big of a deal. I didn't even notice it until I was editing. So it's totally fine. So the washi tape that I'm using is also from Paper Minty Studio and like I said, I'm obsessed. I love it. The butterfly washi, the black one, 
Oh, so gorgeous, so stunning. And it matches the butterfly stickers beautifully. So like I said, I wanted to keep the calendar as sort of the star of the show on this spread. So I didn't want to do, I didn't want it to be too busy. So I just added some butterflies and some sparkles. And honestly, what really makes this whole idea really pop is those leaf stickers. Like it just adds something a little bit extra. So these would be very simple to draw if you just have butterfly stickers laying around and you just want to draw some little leaf doodles in there. It just adds an extra little something to the page. I don't know. I really love the way that this whole layout turned out. So now we're moving on to the next spread and this is my habit tracker and my mood tracker. And this is where I brought in some of those frames that I was wanting to try out. I have had these ideas in my head for a long time and I've actually thought about cutting pieces of paper and making frames like this out of paper, but I don't know, I was just in the mood to draw these things and I really love the way that this whole theme turned out. I don't know how many more times I can say that, but <laughs> I really like it. I'm very happy with it. So on the left hand side is where I will write in my habits and I just drew very simple calendars. And then on the right hand side is where I will put my mood tracker. So I will say I do really like the way that this mood tracker turned out, but I thought that the butterflies would fit a little bit better, but they did not. <laughs> but I still really like the way that it turned out. I think it's going to be really pretty once they're all colored in. So I'm using butterfly stamps that I got from Amazon as well as the little tiny butterfly stamp is from Notebook Therapy. I bought their butterfly stamp set when I purchased this notebook. This video is not sponsored at all by anyone. I just, I like to purchase these things to show you guys and try these things out. So I bought the butterfly stamps from Amazon and the small butterfly stamps from notebook therapy. Highly recommend both. So it felt like the page was missing something so I decided to add the grid to the back and I think it was exactly what it needed and of course I put some butterflies on here as well. I did notice as I was editing this that I did not title the habit and the mood tracker or this next spread here. This, this is my cleaning spread. For some reason, I did not title these two pages. I know what they are, so I don't feel like they need a title, but feel free to add a title if you decide to recreate this. <laughs> So this is my cleaning spread, like I said, and this is where I just write in my daily cleaning schedule. And so far this month, I am proud to say that it has been working beautifully. I've been keeping on track with my cleaning, even though it is the first week of school. And maybe that's why, because school has started. I feel like I have some form of routine again, and it's been glorious having a nice clean house and it's just been wonderful. So <laughs> I can't wait to use this spread this month or next month.
So finally, we are moving on to my gratitude spread. And I messed up again on this spread. I don't know what I was going through, you guys. Seriously, I... I messed up again. I miscounted somewhere when I was doing the grid pattern or when I was doing the grid for the days. I completely miscounted. So I think I have 36 boxes when I really only need 30. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. We'll just kind of see. <laughs> I may just leave them blank. You never know. I don't know. Or maybe I could do like one day where I write really, really big and it takes up like three boxes or something. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I just left it as is instead of trying to fix it because I just, like I said, I was in the zone and I didn't realize until it was too late that I had made a mistake and of course my camera cut off too so I also missed filming like half of the very beginning of the top of it so sorry. <laughs> I was in the zone. I was happy creating. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. That is it for this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.